Thank you for watching this DS Systems tutorial. In this video, we'll take a look at DS integration with HubSpot, and in particular, how to import data from HubSpot to DS. First, navigate to Integration, and then HubSpot. Select Connect to be taken to HubSpot, where you'll be prompted to enter your HubSpot account login details. In HubSpot, select the Grant Access button. You'll then be taken back to the Dear HubSpot Integration Setup tab. Select Continue Setup to move on to the next step. Select the Synchronization Status button to activate synchronization with HubSpot and make the integration settings visible. In the Setup tab, several integration settings can be customized. The Sales Synchronization field controls the sales data synchronization between the two applications. Bidirectional synchronization is not currently supported. There are three options Off, Export to HubSpot, and Import from HubSpot. In this video, we're going to cover importing from HubSpot. If you prefer to export to HubSpot, please watch our other HubSpot video. Choose Import from HubSpot. All sales data will then be synchronized from HubSpot into Deer. This will automatically set customer and product synchronization to import from HubSpot 2. The Location field lets you assign a default location when a new product is created in Deer via HubSpot. The Save in Deer As field chooses whether to save the product in Deer as stock or service when importing from HubSpot. Import Contacts Without Companies enables you to have contacts without an attached company. Then, choose the Revenue Account, the Default Customer Taxation Rule, Price Tier, and a Product Description Type. Next, in the Save and Deal with Category field, you can choose the category products will be assigned upon creation. Lastly, choose the customer base currency, their payment terms, and default address type when being created. When Auto Sync is enabled, sales, customers, and products will automatically be imported into Deer. Both newly added items as well as updated items will be auto synced. Choose the start, date, and time, the frequency, and select the mode in which you want to send the error notifications, either internal or via email. Once you choose the email option, you'll then have to choose the mailing list from the drop-down. Now we'll move on to the next section, where we can link HubSpot deals with dear sales statuses. When a HubSpot deal reaches the Qualified to Buy stage, a sale will be created in Deer with an authorised sales order. HubSpot deal stages correspond to deal sales statuses. While you can have multiple deal pipelines in HubSpot, only one can be responsible for importing into Deer and mapped to sales orders. Pipelines can be created and edited from your HubSpot account. Select Load Pipelines from HubSpot to make sure Deer has the latest pipeline data from your HubSpot account. Next, select a pipeline to map from HubSpot from the drop down menu. Link the required HubSpot deal stages to Deer statuses. It is not compulsory to map all the deal stages to Deer statuses. Some fields can be left unmapped or ignored if needed. Now we'll move on to linking the HubSpot and Deer customer fields. You can export customer fields from Deer as properties in HubSpot. Properties are used to store data on certain objects in HubSpot, such as contacts, companies, deals, tickets, and products. You can find your properties in HubSpot by going to Settings, Properties from your HubSpot account. Note that custom fields will support one-way binding from Deer to HubSpot. If a custom field value is changed in HubSpot, the change will not be imported back into Deer. Once Deer customer fields are filled in and the matching fields in HubSpot are identified, select Save and navigate to the Contacts module in HubSpot. Here, you can select a contact, then at the bottom of the page, select Deer information. The newly added fields can be added to the default properties by clicking Add to your view. Now we'll move on to linking the HubSpot and Deer sales order fields. HubSpot allows you to add custom properties to store more information about deals or sales. These properties can be found in HubSpot by going to Settings, Properties, Deer Information. You 
You can also view which properties have been assigned to a deal by going to Sales, Deals, selecting a deal, then going to About this deal. Here you can view all properties and deer information. New properties will be created in HubSpot under Deer Information. Save your changes when you finish adding fields to export to HubSpot. At the bottom of the Setup tab, you can select Disconnect from HubSpot to completely disconnect HubSpot from Deer. This will remove all links and mapping between HubSpot and Deer. However, it will not remove any products, customers, or sales from HubSpot. Now we'll move on to the next tab called Products. The To Deer sub tab will be visible on the Products tab if product synchronization is set to Import from HubSpot. If you have products already imported and linked to Deer products, they'll be listed here. If not, the screen will be blank. Select Load Products to import all products from HubSpot into Deer. If a matching product is found in Deer and HubSpot is the master of the data, this product will be updated with information from HubSpot. If AutoSync is enabled, any new products or updates to listed products will be imported automatically from HubSpot according to the frequency specified by your AutoSync settings. After the import is complete, the list of products will be displayed on the screen. Additionally, you can navigate to the inventory module in Deer and in the list of products search for the newly imported products from HubSpot. Note that removing a product from Deer does not remove it from HubSpot and vice versa. Now we can move on to the next tab called Customers. The To Deer sub tab will be visible on the Customers tab if customer synchronization is set to import from HubSpot. If you have HubSpot contacts already imported, they'll be listed here. If not, the screen will be blank. Press Refresh to ensure the most recent customer information has been loaded from HubSpot. Click Download Contacts to import companies and contacts from HubSpot into Deer. If AutoSync is enabled, any new HubSpot contacts or updates to listed contacts will be imported automatically from HubSpot according to the frequency specified by your AutoSync settings. Note that if a new customer is created, default customer base currency, revenue account, payment terms, default customer taxation rule, and default address type of imported customers are configured from the setup tab of the Deer HubSpot integration. The newly imported customers will be displayed on the screen. Additionally, you can find the list of newly imported customers in the Deer Sales module under Customers. Now, let's move on to the next tab called Sales. The To Deer sub tab will be visible on the Sales tab if sales synchronization is set to import from HubSpot. If you have HubSpot sales already imported, they'll be listed here. If not, the screen will be blank. Select Download Sales to import deals from HubSpot into Deer as sales. A pop-up window will appear to confirm the date from which you wish to import orders. Orders created on or after the selected date and which have reached the trigger stage specified in Link HubSpot deal stages and Deer sales statuses will be imported. HubSpot deals which have not reached the trigger stage defined in setup will not be loaded from HubSpot. In our case, that was qualified to buy. If AutoSync is enabled, any new HubSpot deals will be imported automatically from HubSpot according to the frequency specified by your AutoSync settings. You can search the sales in Deer by the HubSpot order number, which is equivalent to the reference number in Deer. Note that Deer loads deals from HubSpot only once the deal reaches the selected trigger stage, according to the stage mappings in Link HubSpot deal stages and deal sales statuses. Deer will create the imported sale with one of four statuses. Estimating, Estimated, Ordering, and Ordered. Other Deer sales statuses are not supported as they require shipping and payment information to authorize in Deer, which are not mandatory fields in HubSpot. If there is no status mapping specified for the HubSpot deal stage, the sale will be created in Deer with estimated or quote authorized status. If the HubSpot deal stage is mapped to an unsupported Deer sales status, the sale will also be created in Deer with estimated status. If you change a deal stage in HubSpot for any deal that has been loaded into Deer, the relevant sales status in Deer will not change. It is important to mention that if sale information is imported from HubSpot, then customer information and product information is automatically imported from HubSpot as well. Selecting the Logs tab opens the HubSpot Synchronization History page. This displays all previous synchronization details. Select Refresh to refresh the log history with the most recent information. Each time you've performed any transaction, the appropriate record is added to the operation log. This also contains information about the results of downloading, including the date, time, count of downloaded and updated items, 
as well as whether the action was performed manually or automatically by the system. And that concludes this video on HubSpot integration and how to import data from HubSpot to Deer.